I think it's very important that anyone who does science in the 21st century isn't in an ivory tower, but works within the context of the changing and exciting society in which we live, because now science is right at the centre of everything we care about and our lives and our hopes. Um, one of the areas that I'm very interested in is women in science, because um, obviously I'm a woman myself, and I know all too well the difficulties of recruitment and retention of girls and women into scientific careers. And in 2002, I authored a report that was commissioned by the then head of the DTI, Patricia Hewitt, on women in science. And it was called SET FAIR. SET, of course, is science, engineering, technology. And it was then looking at what we can do about these issues. And what we found was that really, they are really several issues according to what age and stage a girl or a woman is at. One has to unpack those separately. So that's something that I'm very aware of. I don't think, since I did the report in 2002, to be brutal, the situation, certainly in the UK, has improved at all. And I think it's something we do have to be alert to, and it's something that I am very keen to talk about, especially with policymakers and um, opinion formers. That said, um, I've done quite a lot of work with L'Oreal, who do in turn a lot of work with UNESCO. And when I was working in London, we had a scheme for um, encouraging uh, girls and women who'd had children to return to science and gave them a little bit of money in a very competitive um, exercise for doing that. So there are some green shoots, but on the other hand, I think we really do need to be mindful that it is very hard for girls and women to do science for a variety of reasons.